Mary Anders is a name lost in the pages of Hollywood history. She started her career from modeling at the age of 17 and went on to star in numerous movies and television series after being scouted by 20th Century Fox. Watch this video till the end to know some shocking facts about Mary Anders that will surely stir your interest in this forgotten artist of the past. But before we're getting into the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Only a small percentage of people that watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Number 9. Encouraged to Model by Rita Leroy Mary Anders was an American model and actress born in 1934, California. She moved to Los Angeles at 16 years old with her mother. At her school, John Burroughs Middle School, she had a chance to meet the former actress Rita Leroy. Rita Leroy was a popular actress of her time who appeared in over 50 films. A professional dancer, Leroy, she was especially famous for her sensual dances. Anders, who wanted to become an actress since her childhood, expressed her desire to Leroy, who then encouraged her to begin her modeling career. Rita Leroy even convinced Mary's mother to sign her up for modeling lessons. Soon, Mary Anders started working as a junior model at the age of 17. She soon became the top junior model of Leroy's modeling agency, replacing Tippi Hedren, who had left the agency to do television modeling in New York. Number 8 studied acting at the Ben Bard Playhouse. Along with working as a model, Mary Anders also attended Ben Bard's acting school, Ben Bard Drama, to formally study acting and modeling. Ben Bard was a famous actor, comedian, and acting teacher in the 1930s era. His acting school was one of the largest and most respected acting schools in the country. It was through this school that Mary Anders started her stage career, appearing in various stage productions of the school. Number 7. Scouted by 20th Century Fox. While studying at Ben Bard's School of Drama, Mary Anders appeared in a stage rendition of Little Women, a Ben Bard production. As luck would have it, the secretary of Yvonne Kahn, a famous famed 20th Century Fox talent scout, was sitting in the audience and he was immensely impressed by Mary Anders' performance. He introduced her to Yvonne Kahn. Yvonne Kahn also saw the spark in her and offered her a seven-year contract with 20th Century Fox, which Anders gladly agreed to. Under this contract, Mary Anders made her first appearance in the musical Golden Girl. Unfortunately, under the contract with Fox, her career did not take off much. She appeared in minor roles in a few films, some of which did not even credit her role in the end credits. In 1954, Fox dissolved the contract with her. Number 6. Her first marriage lasted less than four months. Mary Anders married American writer and producer John G. Stevens on March 25, 1995. At the time, she was only 21 years old, while Stevens was 26. However, the marriage was not a happy one and was very short-lived. Mary Anders and John Stevens separated in July 1955. Two months after their separation, Mary learned that she was pregnant with her daughter. She had waived off alimony as of September 1, 1955, when she had filed for divorce, as she did not know about her pregnancy at the time. She requested the court, as she will have to quit her job playing a schoolgirl in Janice Page's television series, which was paying her about $400 weekly, due to her present condition, she may be awarded reasonable alimony and medical expenses. John Stevens agreed to pay child support and medical expenses. Their daughter, Tina Page Anders, was born in March 1956. The couple's divorce was finalized in June 1956. Number 5. Eight film releases in 1957 alone. After her contract ended with Fox, Mary Anders started working as a freelancer rather than working with an agency. That allowed her a lot of freedom in choosing her work. And because of this freedom, she was able to work in a whopping eight films in one year, 1957 alone. The movies included The Night Runner, Desk Set, Calypso Heat Wave, No Time to Be Young, Escape from San Quentin Death in Small Doses, Hear Me Good, and The Dalton Girls. At the same time, Mary Anders also began to make guest appearances on popular TV programs, including Cheyenne, Bronco, Perry Mason, and The Addams Family. Number 4. She starred in Elvis Presley's musical comedy, Tickle Me. Mary Anders was fortunate enough to get an opportunity to share the screen with the legendary Elvis Presley in the Academy Award-winning director Norman Taurog 1965 musical comedy, Tickle Me. In the movie Tickle Me, Elvis Presley played the role of an unemployed rodeo star, Lonnie Beal. He gets hired on a dude ranch where he falls for the fitness trainer Pam Merritt. He helps to protect Pam from the gangs of bad guys who were after her grandfather's hidden cache of gold. Mary Anders played the role of one of the guests on the ranch, Estelle Penfield. To play her character Estelle Penfield, who was a food lover, Mary Anders gained 12 pounds of weight in four days only. Tickle Me was a commercial hit on box office and earned $5 million worldwide. 
Elvis Presley won a Golden Laurel Award for Best Male Performance in a Musical Film. This remains the only acting award Presley won for his acting career. Number 3. Honorary Mayor of Mission Hills in 1960s Mary Anders routinely volunteered for the community in the Mission Hills neighborhood. Due to her efforts and her status as a Hollywood star, she was made the Honorary Mayor of Mission Hills, California, for several years during the 1960s. Number 2. Retired from acting in 1972 after 1968, Anders' career waned down. It became hard for her to manage expenses with her acting salary alone. To supplement her income, she started working as a receptionist at Lytton Industries. The job gave her the benefit of allowing time off for her acting jobs when required. However, her career still spiraled downward and acting jobs became scarce for her. Finally, she received a letter from her father in which she strongly advised her to get a proper job and leave the industry as she had a daughter to take care of and needed job stability. Already in doubt, after this advice from her father, Mary Anders decided to permanently retire from showbiz in 1972. Her last appearance was a guest appearance in the two-part Gunsmoke episode, Waste. The episode aired in late September and early October 1971. Mary Anders continued to work at Linton Industries and eventually went on to become a customer relations coordinator. She remained with Lytton Industries for 25 years till her retirement in 1994. Remarried after remaining single for 31. After her disastrous marriage with John Stevens, Mary Anders remained single for about 31 years in order to raise and support her daughter. In 1986, at the age of 52, Mary Anders married Richard Benedict, who also worked at Lytton Industries as an engineer. Mary Anders changed her name to Mary A. Benedict after her marriage. The couple stayed together for 13 years till Richard Benedict's death left her a widow in 1999. Mary Anders passed away herself in October of 2012, at an age of 78 years in California, USA. She is survived by her daughter, Tina Page Anders. Hope you enjoyed these facts about the late Mary Anders, and if you did, check out the next video in this series.